We've got a lady in the kitchen who knows all about cooking with beer. She's written several cookbooks um, about it, and she's from Wisconsin, so we got to love that. This is Lucy Saunders. Good morning. Good morning, Amy. Thanks so much for having me on the show, and thanks to Deb for all the great setup. <laughs> Deb's, Deb's a big helper, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we, I was talking earlier, and I hope I got it right, that you know, for years it was always cooking with wine. You know, I mean, Julia Child started, the French did that, and now you see more and more people not only um, into tasting craft beers and, and experimenting with all these different beers, but also cooking with them. Yeah, and it's interesting because cooking with beer has been around for centuries. It's uh, part of the lexicon of uh, Northern European uh, traditions in terms of um, Brewsters were the women who made beer in medieval times, and it was part of uh, knowing how to run a household was knowing how to make beer. And people figured out that cooking with beer was actually better for you because um, it was um, in many cases safer than water. So there's a, 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 a long history of cooking with beer, but it was typically hidden in grandmother's kitchen. It was a family recipe that was handed down. Just, okay. just think about how many recipes start with beer for fritters. Sure. Uh, beer is a base for stew, carbonade of flamand. That's a Belgian beer, beef stew, very classic. So there's always been you know, a handful of recipes, but I think that in the last 10 years, there's been a real surge of creativity exactly. because this generation of chefs coming up through culinary school have been exposed to all the fabulous flavors of craft beer. I mean, you have some wonderful examples. You have the um, Apple Ale from Nuclearis Brewing Company. It's part of their Unplugged series. Uh, Titletown has, I think, probably 12 different beer styles on tap right now. Um, there are at least um, 178 different styles of beer brewed in the United States wow. by 1,756 different breweries. So that means that um, probably every American lives within 10 miles of a brewery. <laughs> <laughs> Fun to think about. All right, All right. Uh, she. I told you she knows her stuff about beer. So uh, we are actually doing a salad with beer. Um, so who who thought yeah. you know you usually wouldn't put that together, but it really works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to start with the salad dressing. Okay. Um, there's some fresh chopped mint. Okay. And that's is this olive oil in that's here? That's olive oil base with apple cider vinegar. Okay. And next up we have some Dijon mustard. Okay. It's a little spatula. I got it right that. out of there. Yep. Okay. And um, some sugar and some salt. Okay. Just a pinch of that salt? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, just a pinch. And then if we can add a little ground pepper. You bet. Yep. That looks about right. Okay. And uh, whisk that into an emulsion. We've got um, fennel apple salad. But the, one of the bases of the salad it, that makes it especially crunchy and a nice alternative to coleslaw is jicama. Yum. Uh, I love jicama that. Jicama is a tuber. And you can see here it looks like a potato but it tastes like a cross between, uh, I think, apple and celery. It's, it's got a wonderful, fresh flavor. It really is. Flavor. Try it. Just peel it and try I even sometimes will put it on a veggie and dip platter for something yep. different. Everybody yep. says, what yep. is this? It's good. Yep, okay. exactly. So there's that. Okay. So in goes our jicama. Yep, in okay. goes the jicama. That you peeled and kind of chunked up. Yep, Okay. exactly. Then there's the fennel, which I um, uh, washed and trimmed the fennel and um, sliced that very thin, taking out the center core. And I love that, by the mm -hmm. way, yummy. And here are oranges, fresh oranges that I segmented mm. and removed the membrane and seeds. Here's the apple. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Here is the sliced red pepper, very thin. How pretty is and this? And diced red onion. You bet. Mm -hmm. I've got my chili fixings in the way. I'll move those. So is that it? It's that simple? That's it. It's, it's that simple. And any beer then in this recipe? Yes. We're going to drizzle it on right now. The apple ale. And I like to um, splash that on at the end so it's like the top flavor note as it comes up. And you make this ahead of time and let it marinate. And it's a f wonderful alternative to um, coleslaw, Which especially can get a since, boring, you know, especially since the um, ingredients can all sit at room temperature. Love that. I yeah. mean, instead of coleslaw with your brats or potato salad, maybe think about doing this and really wow everybody. Look at the mm -hmm. color in yeah. that. 
just gorgeous colors. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you can say there's a little bear in it. So. Yes, it's a wonderful flavor, this um, apple ale. Now, uh, there are other brands available, ap apple ale. And also, if you can't find apple ale, then you can use uh, a hard cider. And it basically has some apple juice in it, or real apple in it. It actually is, uh, the New Glarus apple beer mm -hmm. is actually made with real apples. You can smell it in there. Yeah. Wow, delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the cookbook is called? The Best of American Beer and Food, and it's published by Brewer's Publication out of Boulder, Colorado. And um, it has recipes from brew pubs and breweries all across North America. Yum. Even yeah. dessert. So mm -hmm. we're going to make a dessert with beer. Beer masseau coming up. So thanks so much to Lucy. Thanks Lucy's so much, Amy. Stick around. And coming up next, uh, some more fun ideas with beer. So don't go anywhere because mm -hmm. we'll be back.